Hello, I am the Ronan Pawn, and welcome to a twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn livestream on twitch.tv slash Ronan That song just ended. Wow, that's <clears throat> not what I expected to happen, but that's just, it just slammed, slammed to a halt. <clears throat> welcome to Twitch, what did I say, live stream and speed run. Those are the things that we're doing today. Welcome back to the swindle, for everybody. Uh, still running for world record here, know that we can get it. Just gotta get a little bit lucky. And a little bit skillful at the same time. That's the that's the real trick. Can we do luck and skill simultaneously and bring in a sub hour clear of the swindle? Um, preferably using Henry Beresford all the way. The first thief, no death, deathless run. Can we do it? And can we do it in about two and a half hours? Because that's all the time I've got today um, before my dad comes out. Uh, so in three, two, one, let's start the first go. This is the longest game startup you'll get all day. I can actually move the character around after I, uh, after I spam buttons in a very peculiar way that causes uh, me to be able to see uh, a screen that should be hidden, hidden. Okay, this isn't looking bad so far, as long as it doesn't go too much deeper. Oh yes, oh yes, Everybody, I'm closing the door behind me even, I'm so thankful for how well this level has generated for us, incredibly short first level, just what we're looking for. So we go in for our first buy. Oh, the first one of the day and he nails it, right off the tee, 300 yards, center of the fairway, hello Dank Dog, welcome in. I, dang dog, I just bought what's called a double jump. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what that is. It's kind of weird. Both of these computers are right here. Um, and that's also exactly what we're looking for, is two early computers. We can hit them, and then we can just leave the level. And go on to the next one. All we're trying to do at the beginning of this speed run is generate a bunch of successful heists. A successful heist is quantified by 80% of the funds or more you stole. If I didn't say that sentence in a Yoda pattern, I would say, um, if you steal 80% or more of the funds from the building, then that's a successful heist. <laughs> do or do not. <laughs> there is no... uh, it's Taco Saturday, is it? Do you have a stream schedule? I do not have one of those. Why would I? Hmm? Why would I? No, that would be nice. If I can get to the point where I can have a stream schedule again, then that would be a, a very good indicator of my of my ha improving health. Uh, let's see, also, double jump. Does that have something to do with horses? I think so, yes. 
Uh, I think later in this game we're going to see some horses. Is the thing. <laughs> and Dirt Racer... Oh, shoot. Damn it. Dirt Racer, you distracted me. Um, Why is it Taco Saturday? I, I hadn't heard. Nobody informed me. Okay, we need to get the computers in a hurry out of here. Alright, I'm going to have to kill him before I can do it. Because uh, they're draining 30 pounds from it every time. And we need this to still have 80% of the money left in it. I'm hoping that there's a second computer and that I can find it quickly. Because if there isn't... Okay, yeah. I had, to, I had to take some risks there and rush through the building. Because if it isn't, then they'd probably drain out a little bit more than 80%. We know from experience they like to leave me 76% and then I have to do a hard reset like I just did. But that's fine. We wanted the... Um, three second loading time back <laughs> from the opening of that first level. So level one, just get the floor money. We don't know how to hack a computer. We've never heard of horses or double jumps. Once we get out of the first level, then it's all about computers and we're on a hunt for a unicorn who can, who can jump in the air after they've jumped once already. It's, it's very, it's like, really? Is, how could that be possible? Was there money down here that I can't get to on the floor? There was, and there's no way to access that? Wait, is there no way to access that? There's no way to access that. That is a forced reset. That's the kind of RNG we need to avoid if we're gonna get the world record. <sighs> Start up another one. Ease our way in here, smack some people in the face. They like it. What? Oh my god, I've never seen that. Look at that. I've never seen the, the generation fail like that. That's so cool. Uh, we could see right through the building to the to the background. I have played so many resets <laughs> of this. Um, I've been playing the game for ages. I have never seen a tile just forget to spawn um, the background. For the building in a spot. That's the first time ever. And we caught it right here, live, on twitch.tv slash Ronanpaul. <laughs> Alright, let's go do the first buy. Pretty okay. Sub minute. Sub minute through the first buy. Now we have a double jumpet, I believe is how it's pronounced in, in, the, in its native language. Which is dumbass. That's the name of the native light native native language. Very nice on the spamming of the hacking buttons. I don't oh yeah, there it is. Second computer. Oh, come on now, with the just let me merge through physical objects already, God. Ugh. With your demanding physics maintain intact. Ugh. You plan on swindling the world record, huh, Pawn? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're swindling. And look, I'm, sh I'm like, swindling it even as we speak, because I'm definitely not supposed to be doing things this way. <laughs> There's 96% of the money out of there. That's two levels in two minutes. Don't need to deal with y'all. Don't give a damn about a greenback dollar. But if you could subscribe and support me on Patreon, that would be helpful. <laughs> Spend as fast as I can. Uh, I will wait you out since there's a spike pit between you and I. Otherwise, I just would have flown through the air like a like a like a Mexican wrestler, like a luchador, um, and and. You would have known what my rock was cooking. Mm -hmm. I know the wrestlings. I watch. I watch men, um, sweaty men, um, hug each other in a variety of positions almost daily. That's that's how familiar I am.
through that window. That's one less window for me to have to break later. Okay, is there a second computer is the question of the hour now. There is, and there it is. I want to get... Alright, that's fine. I just wanted to get Mr. Long Eyes there. If he managed to get past him and turn around in a position where I have to wait, then... Then it's not much of a speed run, is it? But this is A-OK. -okay. 92% of the cash stolen out of there. Ugh. Yeah, I ain't waiting for you. I'm going over, buddy. There, I probably saved all of, like, one second by going... Oh, God, and I'm gonna have to wait for this guy anyway. Oi. Hey, go get you both. Huh? Two with one blow. It's only slightly less than what Mickey Mouse managed to pull off. With the, in the, in the, you know, in the giants that he slew. I believe he got seven in one blow. Shit. That's a reset. They just forced me to reset on, like, level fucking four. I'm gonna walk it in anyway. And see where we are. Like, we just don't see that. Yeah, 45%. Bastards. We just don't see, um... That late of a, you can't get to this area thing, usually. In the first two levels, sure. Third level, maybe. Fourth level, never. And we just saw it there. Character is actually just unbelievably lucky. Because every time you slam your hand into a roof, your entire body quantum tunnels through the solid surface unharmed. That is, I mean, it's, if it's possible, quantum mechanics says that it has to happen at some point. <laughs> On an infinite timeline, if it could happen. So yeah, he's just really lucky and it just happens to him like all the time. Alright, this was a weird <clears throat> routing for this building, but it's worked out very well. You know, sometimes you change it up on the fly, see if it works out for you. And sometimes it does, yeah. I think we uh, made this, this building about as short as it could have possibly been for us. I'll close the doors as I leave. It's a big one to be out in 40 seconds. Very nice menuing. And we're out of the first level and the first buy in 50. That's crazy. Now all we need or want out of life is computers. Uh, yes, we're, we're dorking out. We're gonna get into arguments uh, with people on Reddit uh, about Intel and AMD and which is better and that kind of a thing. Alright, I think there's only one computer here. There's an area to the left that I could check more thoroughly, but I don't think I need to. I know this generation, and I can tell you with, with certainty that we're going to get 93% of the funds out of there because there was no second computer. And if you believe that, uh, I own a bridge in New Jersey that we could name it after you for $20,000 today, but I got another guy who's like, his money's already being transferred but i like you so i'll i'll uh he's an asshole i was just gonna sell it to him because you know the money but you're such a sweet guy i will take your twenty thousand dollars and name my bridge after you uh you know but you got to do it right now because i mean if he comes up with the money if it transfers that seals the contract then there's really nothing i can do has this joke gone on way too long or just like i'll just just too long generally just too long regular or too long too long <laughs> it's another 93 percent out of there we're very consistently 93 percenting these levels Ooh, that was fun the sound of it anyway 
You you fall over, you get smacked, then fall over, and I'm gonna need you to fall over as well. Both of the computers are right here. I love this level. This is my favorite level. Um, and I can even like do one of these. Hi. Yeah. Um. Wait. Are you gonna see me? No. Not if I stand on the edge of it. Doesn't really matter if he sees me or not. If I'm honest. But it makes it easier to bash him in the back of the head later. Not long enough. Keep going. <laughs> you can see the bridge that I own in New Jersey. <laughs> okay. Another early computer immediately visible. That's what we like to see. And they broke out both windows for me. I like to see that too. I don't like that I can't... It it's, looks like a big level. And, like, I can't quite see enough of it to guarantee that there isn't another computer somewhere. Oh my god, three in one blow. Take that, Mickey. Now I can guarantee that there is not another computer in this level. I'm just gonna do that. And then deal with the two enemies in the window in my way. So, all these successful heists stack up in experience points. We have now 1.8 experience points. Um, well, we have enough experience points that we have a 1.8 multiplier, is what's really meant by that. A 1.8 multiplier means that, uh, for every dollar that I pick up, I actually walk out with a dollar eighty. Buck eighty. It's in the middle, I've already walked this way. We'll, uh, we'll come this way and then back. So we want to get that, uh, multiplier up to 2, maybe even 2.2, depends on how I'm feeling. Still kind of experimenting with, uh, what's the best number to stop on. But, uh, getting this out of here right now does guarantee me the two. I'm just gonna leave, and then I will let the level decide for me whether we do a 2.2 or we stick with a two. But the level does need to help me merge through the physical objects here. If that was everything, then we'll carry on. It was everything. We'll do one more. We'll do 2.2. Worked out pretty good for us uh, one of the times that we did it. Gotcha. Now, I'll set this landmine off. Wow, I didn't realize they put landmines in the early level. Because I'm usually out of here by now. So they usually don't. Oh, uh, wait. Check up first. Could just be right there. And it is. And this is all we need from this last level. For some reason, the game gives you another, like, full 0.2% uh, increase. Um, even if you don't get all of the money out uh, on the last one for some... I don't... Uh, we're still trying to figure out why that works that way. But so, see see my XP bonus at the bottom there? 2.2, even though we only got 52% out. So it did give me the bonus that I wanted. And now we're doing a buy... Um, wait, I could afford the other thing. This is, yeah, I usually can't. Do I have, no, I can't hack a door, but I got everything else. Okay. I got all of the things that I want, except for the ability to open a locked door. But one of the things that I did get is the ability to blow a hole in a wall. So, opening a locked door becomes less important here at Lack and Steel. <laughs> I don't know that anyone would shop at Lack and Steel. Like, you'd, you'd expect that what you're looking for from a place with steel in, in the name would be, you know, to buy some steel. And this place ain't got it. <laughs> Alright, the first level is pretty likely to just have one computer in it. First level of the warehouse district. And that's all we've seen. I can see underground pretty well right here, and that's still all I've seen. So I'm just gonna take this and walk out unless I see signs of another computer that I haven't already seen. Thanks, Lack and Steel. We could have used some more money out of you. To be perfectly honest. You were lacking money, too. 
You know what? Let me let me just let me just leave. Actually, no. Something something. Front company. <laughs> yeah, we only have five thousand seven hundred seventy-six. That was the only computer in there. But that that kind of sucks for us because you know we should have more money by that than that by now. I'm gonna have to actually enter this building. Go. Come on down, jump on up over you. Wait for you to walk past. Knock you out. Use this as a vantage point to see. I think that's a computer right there. I'm I'm gonna place a bomb here in the hopes that that's a computer right there. Hopefully this guy dies from that bomb and doesn't just fall down. Okay, he did die. There's no computer here. Damn it. Did get us to the other side of the building. So we're going to find the computer. Hopefully more than one. Yeah. Where the hell is it? Alright, it's got to be top then. Gotta be up here somehow, and uh, I'm gonna pick up some floor cash. Okay, there's one of them. The other one is not there. Alright. I expect to see two computers at this point. Okay, I mean, I'll walk in. No? Alright. Well, then we're leaving. Jerry Metal something? I'll bet they get a lot more business for steel than lack and steel. Yeah, there's not... There, that was the only computer here as well? Game. But game, though. 96%. That's true. Okay. I mean, that means we got two extra successful heists and that we're approaching, like... 2.6 times multiplier, I think, right now. Maybe even a 2.8. So it's not necessarily bad, you know. It didn't work out well in the short run, but it might be just what the doctor ordered in the long run. I don't know. Hit! No invisible frog, no invisible frog. So, in case you're unfamiliar... I like that prick. There, there's little poke frogs in this game. They look like Pokemon, robotic frogs, and uh, they're the most dangerous enemy in the goddamn game, as far as I'm concerned. They are definitely the thing that tends to get me killed anyway. Uh, so let's keep our eye out. There's the poke frogs. Now you see them, right? Here at Young's Express. Yep, another computer. Excellent. Need to get down here before Mr. Sharpback comes through. Ooh, two, huh? Well, there's nowhere to plant a bomb that, that would work out, so I'm just going to put it here and here. And we'll get both of these. Yeah, baby. This is going to be a huge haul out of the last building that we need before we go into the next level. It's gonna let me buy, you know, some very helpful equipment early. I think. Especially since we're at this huge multiplier that we should be at now. Let's make sure there's not another fourth computer in here, because there absolutely could be. Alright, much as we can see, much as we can tell, doesn't look like it. So we're just gonna leave. My movement was so good on the way in, it had to suck on the way out, right? Yep, yeah, that's one we've already hatched, right. Okay. Okay. That is another successful heist. And we've got about 40k in our pockets. We're buying our way in here. And I'm gonna get Steam Purge. I'm gonna learn to hack doors. Might as well pick up a little hack speed. Alright. And we're into New Belgravia. 
a little bit behind PB, but that PB did not pick up all the experience points at the beginning that we did. So the fact that we're anywhere near that PB just means that we're friggin' flying. In comparison to it, anyway. In comparison to that PB, we're flying. Could we be here faster? Absolutely. Have been before. Alright, this is the only computer... Okay, that's not a computer. <laughs> it's the only computer that I can see immediately, and since it's the first level, and we're right here, we'll just take it and walk out. First levels, you know... They have some of the worst, like, spawning of PCs that you're going to see. So take that first level and get the hell out. And move on to a level where you're probably going to have more computers in it that you can hack. Which means you've got a better likelihood of running into them. Early, without having to do a lot of, you know, travel work. Through the levels. Alright, here's another computer. It's also protected, which I'm not a fan of. Did I get the... Is the frog dead? Okay, I think the frog is actually dead. Go out that window. Go out that window. Alright, just fall over dead then. You're useless. You go in that hole. Alright, we've cleared this out. Let me, um, let me have a walk around the building. The outside. I saw a computer, a uh, frog out here, didn't I? Okay, he fell down that hole. Just a quick look. Yeah, there's another one there, and I could actually bomb, uh, uh, how do I get to it? Without having to face that frog. Okay, how high do you jump? You jump to there, so I am safe to be here. Lower. Gotcha. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, yeah. Get stuck there again. He didn't get stuck. Alright, now he's dead. That was the scariest thing that will probably happen on live streams, having to face that frog. <laughs> Tell you, man, the poke frogs. They're they're the problem. Not me. Oh my god, this just went right into this room. Excellent. I thought it was gonna take a bunch of bombs to get in here, but I hadn't seen the down shoot yet. Okay, Raven. God, this is just so Raven. Ooh, just barely got her. There you go, in the hole for you. This guy can see all the way over here. And he's he's got a frog backup situation. I do want to hack this. I don't want to get seen. Frog backup. What are you, pansy? Okay, yeah, now I'm going to hack this computer, trigger the alarm, then go upstairs and hack the other one while the alarm's going. And then we run. And then we run away. That's the idea here. Gotta get to the other side before they slam a door shut on me. Okay, made it. Should be all safe in this room. I've already cleared it out. Then we'll hack the security shade. So we can walk out. And I bought Steam Purge, in case you've never seen me do this before. This is what Steam Purge does. It puts me in a cloud of steam, which the uh, the bots can't see through. Do one more successful level like that, Pawn, and I think you can leave this area. I could have went and bought a bug, but I'm staying in instead. Because I think, yeah, these two computers just might be enough. If they're not enough, they're going to be just not enough. But I think I'll just take these two and walk out. Unless there's another computer immediately to the room to the right of this one. And I clear this room out. And I could just walk over there and finish. I don't... I, I'm... We're in a very good position here, so I'm playing a bit safe, okay? I don't want to mess... I don't want to go at both of them at once. I just want to clear out the drone, and then deal with this guy. There you go, because he takes two hits. And I knew that. Alright, yeah, we're just going to do these two computers, so is there... Let me clear that room out above to make the timing easier when we go to leave. 
Okay. Got you again. Right, one of those dudes, yeah, was had poison in him. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the drone. I will set this off. That'll make that safer for me. Alright, let's do it. Okay. This one will give us an alarm. Can I send you out the window? No? So I'd hoped the drone just wouldn't be an issue, but he's made himself an issue. Yeah, let me just check if there's another computer here. That's easy to get out. No? Alright. Well then, let's let's grab it and leave. Alright. Alright, that got us all the money we need to go into the next area. Is that just three levels through here? And I don't have enough money to do anything else. So we're on to Casino Town in under night. Well, in, yeah, in about 19 minutes, let's say. Nope. So I try and kill those through the wall when I see them. They are, they sneak up on you and get you killed, and, and then you're not a happy boy. No computer there. Computer above us and below us. Okay. Wait, does this help me on that line as well? It does. Okay. Then that's what you're looking for. This actually, this bomb gets us both up and helps to get us into the right, where we'll need to be later. Oh, shit. Never mind, because there was a floating bomb up there, and uh, it it heard me, and it, it went right into that computer that I was going to hack. So that's one computer just gone, just dead. Not going to hack it. Because it would be so hard to hack it with it not existing in Null. Oh, no. Alright, no, no, no. We're fine. Damn it. If I could have gotten to him before he turned around, we'd be fine. I just don't like this this long walker. There we go. It'll take forever if I have to wait for him. The other guy's not so much an issue. You just... I, I, I knew that guy was up there, but he was off screen, and so I assumed he was off screen right, not off screen up. That's a reset. That's 20 minutes in and we reset. This is how well we're playing, though. We were on world record pace right there, right then. And ran 20 minutes into the game after probably only about 10 minutes of, of playing it started. So that's, that's where we are. Run dead, yeah, along with Henry Beresford, our first thief. Alright, we go again. You guys, uh, keep me up to date. In fact, uh, how long have we been streaming so far? I think it's only been about half an hour. That's my guess. Huh? Because I've certainly got the information in OBS, but uh, I've got the monitor so far away from me that's got OBS on it that uh, I can't read that. 34 minutes, aha! See, that's my speedrunner sense, my ability to tell how much time we've been doing a thing. Yes. I was four minutes off, but oh, god damn it. It's a reset. You saw that there was one piece of money in a middle top room, which is almost a rare spawn in the first place. Uh, and we'd already like been through the whole building. I would have had to re-enter and come through it again. It's just like I, I don't want a minute thirty second first level on my speed run. Okay, thanks, Potsy. <laughs> I don't know why I, said. It may, I sounded like Dennis Miller to myself for a moment. That, that's. And that's the kind of thing you used to say. Chachi. <laughs> that's an area we can't get to. Was there was there money down there? And we could see that from the other area? Damn it. This is another horrible generation for us uh, of the first level. I mean, it's fine. It's fine if 
if there wasn't hidden money down there. There wasn't. All right, that was 100%. We can keep going. Beautiful menuing. Took me a minute to get off the boards with it, but once I got started, boy, I was going. Don't tell me there's a place I can't get to and a computer in there. All right, no computer seen in there so far. And we don't know if we can't get to it either. Could be an entrance from the other side of the building. Generation would allow it. There's a second computer. Hooray. Our odds of this run being able to continue have just skyrocketed. Wow, 48 pounds out of there, huh? Doesn't matter. Can't possibly hurt us. We're better. We're better than it. Which is why I'm going out a different way than I came in. Eighty-nine percent of the loot out of there. I love it when they break the glass with their heads. I also enjoy when a plan comes together, but not as much as when they break the glass with their heads. Yes, that was an A-Team reference. Yes, this is 2022. There's a reason why, you know, there's like nine people in chat right now, even though I've got tens of thousands of followers and subscribers between YouTube. <laughs> There's a reason. <laughs> My timely 2022 A-Team references. Uh, wait until I start singing the intro to M.A.S.H. later. It's great. <laughs> and to everyone who's thinking right now, you can't sing the intro to M.A.S.H. The words are, Suicide is painless, it brings on many changes, and I can take or leave it if I please. The, I can't wait for you all day, bro. Jesus, that fucking camera drone. And now I have to wait for long walkie eyes, man. Or I could just jump him and take the risk. This is just ridiculous. This is... I mean, I was thinking about music from, you know, television shows that are 50 years old, so I got a little distracted. But God damn it, that camera drone. He deserves every bit of that getting hit in the back of the head. Like, as long as it took me to get to that one computer in this incredibly, like, it was a good generation for us. It makes me want to reset. This is, we're finishing level 3 in 4 minutes, is that right? Eh, no, it's level 4, I think. 1.6 XP? I think that would be level 4, I'm not sure. You love the bad jokes? Well, see, I was hoping they weren't bad jokes, but now you've just confirmed. <laughs> ah, damn it. Alright, we could lose this run because of me getting seen there. It depends entirely on the computer in the top right that we saw. How much money they managed to get out of it before I can get to it. Okay, this is pretty quick accessing it for a computer that we hadn't been to yet. But it does still depend on, you know, a lot of RNG now, whether or not that worked out for me. It's always good to grab extra floor cash if you can in this situation, but I just didn't see any convenient. So we're out. It was 76% of the money. That's a reset. They got me. Bricks. Think about that, too. I mean, now that we're talking about M.A.S.H. in 2022, think about that, that the, um, the song that they used for the intro, they used the instrumental version. No lyrics. But, you know, the song that was chosen for M.A.S.H., and that was the start of every M.A.S.H. episode, and that everybody who, you know, watched this incredibly popular, um, um, thing about the Korean War, I mean, it was a sitcom about the Korean War. Um, they heard it like, you know, it's just part of the cultural pantheon, even, even, 
young people who never saw MASH don't really know what it's about would hear that tune and maybe know that that's the MASH tune. Um, and that song, as written, is, uh, with its lyrics, is about suicide. I mean, just, and the art of, think of the artfulness of that, of the creators of M.A.S.H. using a song that is about such a heavy topic and, you know, being able to use it. <laughs> I mean, do you think that uh, there's any sitcom that could get away with that kind of thing these days? Um, when it's telling a story about, you know, what it's like to be at war and be surrounded by death and destruction every day. Uh, and I just, I ask you, in 2022, we've now had, since MASH, I think 50 years, uh, where we've been able to evolve art and become, like, more sophisticated, um, as a race of human beings, really. You know, as time goes on, the more sophisticated, the more, like, uh, I don't know, intelligent that our actions and tastes have the potential to be, anyway, whether they are or not. And I'm asking you, in 2022... Do you think that it would be possible to get a, uh, a television series produced uh, that was anywhere on the level of MASH, even if we just start at, could, you know, a series actually have something like that for its theme song? Would any television production company, would any, like, person who's writing for television, you know, be able to get them to, well, you, thank you. Uh, to put that on television. Because it was on TV in a time where there were like eight channels. So, you know, that was 100% of the money. Wow. I'm not trying to get 100% of the money out of these levels, but that will help us in money later. And, and so I ask you that question because what I'd like you to consider is if it's been 50, 60 years and um, we can no longer be as artistic as we once were on television um, or in, you know... That, yeah, in, in the public media in general. Um, do you think maybe capitalism is uh, not working out for us here? <laughs> do you think maybe our culture is devolving because uh, of the consolidation of everything into dollars and cents, and then the consolidation of those dollars and cents into the pockets of primarily three or four people on the, on the planet? You think maybe that there's a sign of something that isn't, isn't how we might want it to be? Okay, that was the only computer in this level. Now we know, and knowing is half the battle. Because now we can leave, and leaving is the other half of every, any battle. Just, just walk away. 96%. Easily they could. Everyone is depressed. On television, you think they'd... Uh, I just don't think that we get as artistically inspired art anymore. I think we get uh, shit that's produced. Um, first and foremost, you know, like even artists have, have learned in the current economy of art and how to make a living at it, that even if you're trying to make art, you have to first come up with an idea that sounds like, you know, a, a mass entertainment majority will accept it. It's got to be, you know lowest common denominator accessible uh, first. You know, you can't you can't make your art and then find out, um, you know, if there's uh, an audience for it or, or challenges an audience in a way that makes them grow or, you know, you can't, you can't do that. What you have to do is first consider, is there an audience that I can sell this to and then make art? I think maybe that's fucked everything up, possibly. I don't know. Uh, where are we now? 1.6 times experience. You could make it and could be popular, but I don't know if it would be on TV. Yeah, it would be on uh, Netflix, maybe, and maybe not. <laughs> you know, uh, as much as you might think Netflix, HBO, that they're edgy in some way. HBO is edgy in that it shows tits and occasionally, like, male ass. That's that's what, what makes HBO edgy. It's not art. Um, <laughs> uh... Netflix is, uh, I think, just struggling to stay alive, so <laughs> you know that they're much concerned with uh, 
with seeking out anything artistic uh, as much as they're just concerned with buying something that's that's popular or that has a name brand that someone already that people might already know right is that the state of things Has anyone read anything I just get the feeling generally that Netflix is uh, is dying uh, 1.8 times experience 91 percent. I mean, in general, I, I don't know that uh, that this whole, you know, everybody's got a friggin' platform that you buy a subscription to. Uh, oh, wow. I, right when I screwed it up, I got it right. If that wouldn't have gone exactly that way, I was about to get seen. I don't know that the streaming platform thing has worked. I mean, I don't know because I'm I'm not... I'm, I'm talking about MASH on my live stream, so I'm not exactly tapped into what's going on out there. But my experience, having used it all, is that um, they... Because they're constantly, like, rotating ownership over these various pieces of media, um, it's just really hard to... Like, you pay, and you're paying a lot of money to multiples of them, and then you still don't actually have access to the thing that you want. You know, it's just, if you're, if you're, if you think of something, you're like, oh yeah, I should watch that movie. Oh, I'll bet it's on my streaming platform. No, it's on one of the other ones this month and for the next two months, and then it might come to yours or it might go somewhere else. And it's just, it's not, it's, I don't, I don't carry any of them anymore. I've done Netflix, I've done Amazon with Prime, I've done Disney, uh, yeah, Disney Plus. I think I've even done Hulu. And, you know, it's just... It ends up being... They don't have what you wanted anyway. And here's the here's the big problem for me. Is, um... I know that I can go... Uh... Onto a website called the Pirate's Bay. And I can find anything I want to watch. That has ever existed. Um... <laughs> And that I can get it for free in three minutes. Uh, so, my, you know, when... And then I also know of at least one website, and there's, there's several, I also know of at least one website that at any time you can just pull it up and watch almost anything you can think of, just like Netflix. So, yeah. Just like all of these streaming platforms. So my problem is, I don't really want to fight to find the thing that I want to watch right now. Um, I don't want to pay on top of what I'm paying for internet a month, like another $40 in order to have like $40 or $50 a month in order to have all of those different streaming platforms. And, you know, so that I can probably, then I'll still just be in the state where I can probably get what I want. I can probably watch that movie that I just thought of. So, you know, they've by the competition of the marketplace, which by the way, just, just so that we're all clear and we're on the same page, the competition of the marketplace, what they're competing for and over, uh, is uh, media that is infinitely reproducible, and they're serving it on the platform where it's infinitely reproducible. By the, by the virtue of competition, um, it, it actually undermines the entire industry because <laughs> they keep competing and they keep buying, you know, the, the rights out from each other for this thing or that, whatever's popular this month or, you know, or just to fill out their catalog and the copyrights that should have expired, by the way, most of the copyrights that, that, I tend to be looking for older movies, you know, things that I... You gotta be wa wanna, wanting to watch a movie that you remember, right? So if the if the copyright laws... Whoa, shit, god damn it. If the copyright laws in the United States hadn't been created by, by Walt Disney in order to serve his interests best... <laughs> no, hadn't been... Um, I don't think Walt actually assaulted the copyright thing. I think it, it came in his predecessors, or his successors, rather. But anyway, if they weren't built primarily to serve the, um... the Disney Channel, 
and instead we're built to serve the people, then um, all the things that I'm looking for and that I'm thinking about, uh, you know, that I'm remembering that are 20 years old or 30 years old or something like that that I'd like to watch, uh, would be open and free and all of those platforms would be able to have it and serve it right next to the other one. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, we're going to try and leave without getting shot. I was, I was fully prepared to stay in and try and find all the computers in that level. We need one good level and we can move on to the next district now. Oh, oh I just looked at my splits and realized that I have them up. That's why I stopped for a minute, because I was doing... I was trying to figure out... That, is that really, really messed up or just a little messed up? That's really messed up. <laughs> Here at Mech Petroleum. Yeah. There you go, go in the hole. I knew if I could get him walking first, then I could get him in the hole. This is my entrance point. I've picked it anyway. Oh, come on with that! Oh, what? Just hit him! Thank you. Just taking up so much of my time to get into one building. And I still haven't seen a computer. Which at this point means they're either next to each other, or there's only going to be one of them, and it sucks for me. Kind of any way I slice it, 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 it sucks for me. Um. Okay! No, don't plant the bomb yet, you'll be trapped here by the time you... <laughs> By the time you have to run away from it. Alright. One bomb used. Still no access to any computer. Go in the hole. That'll be safe for me. Okay. Another computer. Or another bomb, rather. Oh, f what? Fall damage from that? That—that's some bullshit right there. Well, I screwed up the splits anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'll say that. All right, I think we need a live stream break. I certainly do, uh, and that means you do too. So, seven minute live stream break. I'll roll some ads. I'll do the usual thing. Meet me back here in seven minutes. Netflix was good when there was one, um, not nine different streaming services, each wanting 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, so we can re recreate. It's so far, the, the text is just so far away, and some days my eyes are good, and some days they're not. I, I will, Mosaic Task Force, I'll read you when I get back. <laughs> We're going to live stream, bag, meet me back here, seven minutes, don't go anywhere, pawn, not out.
Hello, I am the Ronan Pawn. Welcome back to twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn livestream on twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn. How was your seven minute break? Hmm? Mine was good. Got up, walked around, ate a couple of nuts and berries. Ah. We're swindling today. We're speed run swindling for the world record, as we've been doing quite a bit lately. Um, wait. Let me get, nope, let me get that up there, and then, and then you to, and then, yep. Oh, but no, now that's up. No, wait, oh, shit. <laughs> we might be reopening the swindle. Aha. It picked up, all right, we're back. We're fine. And, uh, I did read, uh, was it Mosaic Task Force, uh, that you're, you're saying that, uh, in 20 years, uh, if we had a 20-year copyright then, you know, 12 more years from now and we could uh, reproduce uh, Ronin Pawn content and things. I, I, I would be actually cool with that. I'm fine with that, but uh, 20 years, I'm, I'm actually thinking, I would assume that we'd go to, you know, what we should do is go back to the 35 year, which I think was the standard, I think, before, you know, it turned into 110 or whatever it is now, thanks to Disney. Um, but 35 year is basically, you know, um, an individual's working life, or at least it used to be, uh, you know, now everyone's so poor, and we're living longer, so, uh, <laughs> don't depress this <laughs> Um, yeah, took a little bit of a risk there, but 35 years for any artist would be, you know, it's like, yeah, good odds, uh, that, you know, it actually uh, increases the likelihood of something that any artist makes, you know, getting popular or getting known in their lifetime. Because um, once, like, 35 years after you've made something, it falls out of copyright, there's a whole, like, secondary market of media that's being made on the cheap, uh, where people are looking for really good stuff that has fallen into public domain. And, uh... So it's like, if in your 20s you were cranking out music that uh, just didn't pick up or take off or something like that, um, and it just just went completely by, you know, in your 50s, your song is going to get more attention a second time by a, uh, damn it, that wasn't all the money there somehow, by a new audience who maybe has caught up to you, you know, an artist who was ahead of their time, well, 35 years later, People will be digging up your music or your art, your whatever it is that you've created, again, because it's fallen into the public domain and so they can make money off of it. Uh, you know, there's that benefit as well. Not only that we dismantle the, you know, institution whereby, like, there are actual drugs and shit that, um, that, that would have fallen into the public domain. Anyone could make them, the price would come down, and then people who are suffering from diseases um, and chronic conditions, like myself, in fact. Um, oh, this is the first level again. Damn it, I had to reset. Yeah. No, I remember. <laughs> uh, but people who are suffering from chronic conditions and stuff like that would, would just have what they need in order to live without having to, like, sell a firstborn child or, or give an arm for it. Um, you know, dismantling that system. Dismantling the system whereby, uh, the communication, uh, of the... Ah, oh, fucking god damn it. Sorry, I'm trying to think and, and like, talk and, and speedrun at this. It's just too many things are going on. I'm trying to make a salient point and make it well during the most boring part of the speedrun. <laughs> it's hard. It's all hard. Um, but yeah, um, disturbing the communication and, and, and exchange in the, in an era that should just be, you know, fuck this, because that's too many things that have gone sideways in the first two minutes. In the era that is supposed to be, like, all about communication, you know, we're globally connected now, worldwide, instantaneous transmission of data. I can watch somebody, you know, with a camera on in their bedroom in South Korea uh, and have no more than like a three, four second delay on what I'm seeing. 
and I have that because I have a fucking supercomputer in my pocket in the form of a phone. Like you, you could do that. You could do that with just. Oh shit! I didn't realize I was starting the game there, did I? You know, you don't need a PC. You've got a computer in your pocket. Uh, and and in the era that's supposed to all be about communication, we've locked communication down. in such a way as to benefit corporations and profiteers who already have all of the money and all of the resources that we could use in order to, like, fix our planet and make our lives better and stuff like that. They've already got all the money and we've built our laws for some reason. Maybe because they've got all of the money and they're, they're bribing the people who are supposed to work for us. Uh, but... but we, <laughs> we've locked communication down and stifled the, you know, evolution of both art and just ourselves, just our culture, you know? Just people in gen general, you know? We have stifled our own evolution as thinking, um, intelligent mammals, well, semi-intelligent mammals, uh, to the benefit of, you know, a few concepts. Like, the, when we're talking about a, you know, corporate entity, we're talking about a corporate entity. It's a concept. It doesn't exist, right? It's an idea. And, uh, to the benefit of them, have we given up our ability to, uh, communicate with one another. And, uh, to think and evolve and, and, you know, be more than monkeys who accidentally stumbled out of the jungle. This could be, like, epic generation right here. I mean, it's nice and small, but I'm thinking it's so small I can grab the 100% out of this, out of this, this place. Even though I might have to do a little bit more work for it, it's just such a small location. It's worth it, right? Yeah, that was worth it. Like, I'm still getting out of the second level in under two minutes, and I got 100% out. That's good. Hashtag floor money, yeah. Floor money for the 100% win. I don't need the floor money, though. I don't need it. That would have been slow, difficult... Oh, come on. <laughs> the, that went wrong in all of the ways that it needed to go wrong to actually make me wait. Like, there's a backup movement and a backup movement to that backup movement. <laughs> But I pressed the buttons and couldn't use any of the backup. <laughs> no! No! There's a whole area down there that we can't get to. Is that true? Yeah, because the front door just ended. Right there. And there's no... There's no corner that I could clip up through that overlaps with it. Nope. Third level reset due to RNG. I just didn't think that we saw that very often. I, I, th I think we see first level and second level forced resets. But after the second level, I thought it was very rare. So far that's been twice in the stream. Go. Three to four second delay if you aren't on Twitch Mobile. Oh, okay. So Twitch Mobile would take longer to watch the watch the fella in Japan. Or no, in, in South Korea. Live in his bedroom. What's he doing in his bedroom? He's streaming. He's he's what what did you think he was doing in his bedroom? Huh? Why why does your mind go there? I didn't. It wasn't me. I would never. I didn't mean to take the jump all the way up. I thought I could stick the wall. Nope. I missed the... the keyboard part of that. Never even finished this game normally because I got so frustrated with the level generation RNG. Happy full fridge. I do not blame you. <laughs> it's a very hard game, and it's hard for... Reasons that make you question whether it was intended to be, you know? It's hard because of the way that the robots, you can't swing at them if they're through a wall, but in, a, in the weirdest way. 
in the weirdest way, the way that causes the most glitches and the most bugs. And then the movement is is has its own glitches and bugs, but in the weirdest way. <laughs> And it's like, it's why I keep coming back to it. I don't need that. It's the first level I can't hack a computer. Um, because, like, as much as I can, I would sound like I'm complaining. Like, it's just so incredibly unique. Oh, come on. It was just a waste of time for me to even for, to come over here. I had to check. It's level one. We need 100% of the cash out of this. And that should be 100% of the cash. We'll go to our first buy. Okay, got a little sticky in the middle there, but I'll take a 106 to start. Oh, man. Those were two very good, like, spam, spam hacks. Very lucky. I, I see that it's not there. Oh, wow. Very tall building, and there's the second computer. Excellent. Less lucky there. And we only want the computers out of the levels past the first... Past the first level. First level, we want all the floor money. We can't get computers. After that, all we care about, really, is uh, computers. Floor money be damned. Okay, there's both of the computers. How do I get into that second one? You're going to have to come in from the right side of the building to get at either of them. Okay. Oh, good. You're down, he's up. Oh, but it goes down. Okay. It cuts through the building. The generation does give me tube access. I feel like I might be getting 100% of the cash here so far. I don't know. But I'm going to... Anything that I see... see no, I'm not. Nowhere near. I don't know why you would have even thought that. And being able to cheat the game... Uh, I'm merging through the roofs of, of rooms. Uh, that helps. It helps a bit. 96% of the money out of there. Just want successful heists. Which means 80% of the money out of these areas. Two computers guarantees that. Or one computer if it's the only computer in the, in the joint. Gotcha. This money's so easy to grab. Right after he got done saying, we don't we don't give a damn about no floor money. It was it was right there, and I might end up getting all of the cash out of here. If we do, it's a little bit of a monetary bonus for us. It'll help us make our second buy. Put us a little bit ahead of the game. Have a quick look, see. Yeah, that, that might be the last piece of money in this whole building, so I'm grabbing it before I leave. Did we make that 100% level? On the left? Nope. 99. Damn. So there's floor money hiding somewhere that I didn't get to. Nice. Can deal. And I'll take the floor money. And the second compute computer's right there. Okay, hi. This should still work out. I think this one's gonna be fine. Because we're so close to both computers, I got a lot of the floor money to start with before the cops could pick it up. That's what happens when you get seen as the cops pick up the floor money. It's one of the things, you know. Also, the alarm goes off. And they call the real police, and they show up eventually. 83%. We're still fine. Still on a run. Up and over.
There's a lot of traveling to get to one computer. Maybe there's another one. I'm going to start hacking because I don't think that guy's coming back over here. I started to poop myself a little bit. <laughs> I don't think that guy's coming back over here. As he's flying right back over. I want to check even. I want to check down here because this is a big level for their own. To just be one computer, but uh, indeed there was just one computer. All right, let's get the hell out of here. At least we think. Still can't see it from that side, so yeah, that's my best bet. Wait. Yeah. Just exit. How's my XP? 2.0. I'm gonna I'm gonna take two and go here. It seems like a slower start, so. Okay. There are two things I wasn't able to buy that I would like to have. They are the ability to look up and down in the level and the ability to lock, or pick a locked door. So, here at Furman's Electrics, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exit and reload, uh, load up a new level. Because the first level sucks. It's more likely to just have one computer in it and for you to have to look a long time to find that one computer. See? And the second level has pretty good odds that there's going to be an early computer you can immediately access. Oh, oops. Oh, shoot. If there isn't much left, you can just hit the button again and it'll give it to you. But apparently I left a, a big chunk of me not having actually hacked it on that computer. Oh, there's down there, too, huh? And I can't see. I think there is one down there. I'm gonna bomb right now, because maybe I get some kills out of it. That would have been... That's the worst place to bomb, you idiot. You could have done that a lot. Alright. Uh, because what I could do instead, that makes more sense, is that... That gets me one of the bombs that I needed, and I just need two to get down there. So these are all of our bombs invested on going to the basement. In the hope there's a computer down there. We've already gotten one out of this level. But it's less likely that there would only be one in these levels. Wait, I can't stick to walls either, can I? No, that's that's what you left behind. So no wall sticking. So I can hack a, a door? Okay, you, you, you. Jump away. Hit the frog again. There's a lot. A lot to try and keep track of. Tell me that I didn't waste my time coming down here. You have wasted your time coming down here. Yeah. Uh. Is that a computer above us? Nope. Okay. I. As far as we can tell, there was just one computer here despite so much level generation. And so everything that we just did was a huge time waste. Yeah, bitches. I mean... Yeah, let's just leave. It's pretty bad. 49%. There was another computer there somewhere. Fuck me. Right, keep going. It doesn't change that we keep going. It just it sucks. It means we'll probably be at this a lot longer. I didn't get anything out of that, basically. I didn't get, you know, the money itself. I didn't get the bonus that I could have had for uh, 
for it being a successful thing, if there if there only was one computer there. And it's like, well, we didn't get any money and we wasted a lot of time, but at least we got a success successful heist bonus. But no, we didn't. We didn't. We just didn't. Damn it. I was hoping it would blow up the body of the spiky dude, too, all at once. But it didn't do that thing. Which means this is way more dangerous than I'd like it to be. Yeah, I'd have to commit to it to go that way, or I could just say, fuck that. <laughs> I'm trying to do this without using my double jump, but okay. See, that's why, because after this, I've got to go up, and it needs to be done delicately. Oh, God. Fuck it. Man, this is one hard fucking level. Jesus. I'm just leaving if I can. This is this we've got an incredibly bad RNG in the warehouse district here. Like the type of enemy, the narrow corridors there, it was gonna get me killed. It's sad that we can be on a run like this and still be on world record pace, but we know that we are. Mystery Fisheries. Okay, now they're just rhyming. Save the bomb. Fuck you. I guess I shouldn't have saved the bomb, huh? Still don't have the ability to look down because we were short of money when we came in here, so I'm just blowing my way in. And then we have a look! This is just this is this is a reset on principle, I think. Yeah, look at, and the, this is where I would have had to come for the computer, too. Look at, just, this is incredibly bad RNG. Especially if we find out there was only one computer here. <laughs> yeah, this might be a reset. That was a successful heist. I'll take it and go on. We need like a quick computer here or else to reset. That's what I'll say. Either we grab a computer real easy, real quick. Knocker machinery. All right, maybe, maybe. You know what? I'm going to stay on it because this is exactly how world records are set, right? You get like a 14 minute entrance into the second area or something like that. And then it's like, oh my god, and it's just everything else went so smoothly. It made up for it. All right, I'll take it. I can't afford a single thing. And we didn't have the tools that we wanted for new for the warehouse district, let alone New Belgravia. Alright, that's a that's a fast early computer. I think they might be helping me out a little bit here. This will destroy the security cam. Which will help me. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh all right, well, I, I was debating whether it was a reset or not. I just don't know what killed me. <laughs> I also am not sure what set off the alarm, like... 
I jumped. I guess I can see that maybe I was a little bit too low. Like I jumped at a pixel where a pixel higher would have been fine. Okay. But then what killed me? I don't I didn't think that I was touching anything. Did I jump into the electric beam? Oh well, yeah, we needed to throw that one away anyway. That was just the final convincing it took. <laughs> Back end, this one's going to go a million times better than that one. I'm going to get all the RNG that we want. We're going to have like a 35 second exit from the first level. We're going we're gonna to find a whole area to the level that we can't access and that has floor cash on it that we need. All the good things are going to happen. All right, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. I love it when they break the window like that. It's hard to, like, I'm always trying to hit the guy in such a way that he'll roll into that window. When I get that generation, it's a very common generation. Merging through the ceiling there instead of, uh... Walking around saves us a lot of time and having to uh, break a window open. Wow, this exit sucks though. There's no um, there's no setup for me to be able to merge through that ceiling, and we're a long way to Tipperary. It's Tipperary, Tipperelli. Long way to Tipperelli. A long way to go. Long way to Tipperelli, and the sweetest girl I know. So long to Piccadilly, farewell to Leicester Square. <laughs> okay, so after the first level, um, the buy that I forgot to mark, oops, I forgot to split on the buy, was uh, for two things. The ability to hack computers and what's called a double jump, of which you didn't really get to see any there. All right, um, there was another computer somewhere hiding in there. That's a reset. Damn it. I thought it was a really small generation. It looked like there wouldn't be any other computer to the right there. That was a nice fat two to open. Oh, what a fat two that was. So fat that two. Yeah, see, he doesn't want to break that glass open for me with his head. Some of them are just, you know, kind of selfish lovers, to be honest, some of these robots. Hi, how you doing? Fastest way to get to the right side of the building, even if there's no money up there. Come on, man, walk faster. Jeez, I mean, you're a security guard. Surely you can take those stairs. You've been taking them every night of your life for who knows how long. Surely you can mo move your ass a little bit more than that. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this exit. Huh? It's a good setup. It's a bad level. Not the worst we've seen. Nowhere near the best we've seen. Oh, I loved that menuing. Nope, that's an undo, an undo, a skip, and then a... Yeah, there we go. We're into the warehouse district now. No. No, we're not. Um, un, undo, skip, skip. All right. <laughs> just just waste time in the, in, in, in the speed run to managing the, the timer pawn. It's no big deal. You know, you'll sit there and complain about how uh, the generation on this level, you know, uh, this is going to take an extra 10 seconds away from me. Damn it. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then that. And then you'll just sit there for 15 seconds undoing and redoing splits. Alright, 84% of the money out of there. I'm on my computer now. No more mobile delay. 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 
Yeah, there we go. Uh, no, I can hit you from here. Was the other computer down left? Is that what I saw? Or did I just imagine seeing a down left computer? If there is one, we can't get there this way, so... No down left computer. I think we can just leave. I think we've seen everything to the top of this building, yeah. Eighty-eight percent of the money out of there. Oh, damn it. Alright, we might still be okay because the computer's right here. They'll only be able to siphon one hit off. They, they got two out. Alright, well now we're hoping there's a second computer. There is, and that I can get to it quickly. I can't. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, I really can't. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go up here. In case there's some floor money the cops haven't gotten. Nope. I don't see any floor money the cops haven't already picked up anywhere. So, how do we do? Did we get 80% or not? Did we get lucky or didn't we? 71. We did not get lucky. That's another reset. Was that another? That was another late level. Oh, no, no. It wasn't an RNG reset pawn. It was a, uh, you done got seen reset. This is a big building. I'm liking my movement so far, but this is a big building. I might even... It's such a big building, there's so much money we've already picked up, I might even gamble on there not being any money below us. I think there's low odds on that. But going back in for it takes so long. I'd rather start with a 40 second exit than a 55. Nope. I gambled. Oops. And I closed the game. <laughs> I gambled and I lost. What are you going to do? It happens sometimes. And go. So, this entrance will be... Yeah, a little longer there. I did... I did a, a fat two. But it took more like a fat three to... Uh, for the level to open. Damn. I walked a pixel too far, it happens to the best of us. Does it? I don't know. I mean, that's, what I, that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, uh, <laughs> was that a Tim Allen burp? I think it was like from the beginning of any of his shows, basically. <laughs> A burp followed by... <laughs> Don't need you. Don't want you. You, I'm just walking right through. Okay. That was, uh... Not too bad of a, of a starter building they gave us. a skip and then a nope <laughs> I'm doing he's doing it again <laughs> I'm just getting so confused is the thing I may have had two milligrams of THC before I started this live stream what do you want from me what do you want from me I want that computer is what I want it doesn't look like I can get in there from going down so I'm gonna have to go over and to the right and back in Might as well grab that chunk of 
money to my left. What does it hurt? Well, if you lose this speed run by one second now... <laughs> miss world record by one second, now you know where you lost it. Uh, no, 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 no. You're just there for computers now, right? Yeah. Alright, if you lose it by four seconds... <laughs> You know what? There's so much, it's so satisfying to listen to it ding up. I didn't get to listen to it ding up. By going in there, I saw the computer, the second computer. That's, that's, that, that's why I did it that way. Yeah. Not because I'm a sucker for floor money. If you put it in a row. If you put it in a row like that, then I absolutely will ooh, ooh another candy. Um, the, the thing. Fuck, really? No. Computer's down there, and there's no way to get to it. Another RNG? A late RNG thing? Or we're just on the second level, or was that the third? That was the third level. That's three third level or beyond RNG resets since we started today. Maybe they're just not as rare as I thought they were. Or we're getting incredibly bad luck. Because that's how that works, right? Either we're breaking all of the odds by seeing this, this many, or I've just been wrong all along about how many there are, how many there should be. This was a brilliant first level. I'm leaving in 25 seconds. I'm, I'm walking for the door at 25 seconds. Holy crap. No! Ugh. I tried to do the menuing while we were still on the black screen there. Or while we were still transitioning. Sometimes it works. Well. That beautiful building that gave us what could have been our fastest start ever. Turned into just a really good start. Because I tried to go for it. At least I lost to going for it, you know? It's not bad when that happens. Another candy. Ooh, another candy. Ooh, another candy. Now, I know some of you might not have gotten my MASH references from earlier, but, uh, you know, surely you get the Ooh Another Candy Family Guy reference, right? The James Woods Family Guy episode reference. You, you've got to get that. Or is it Ooh A Piece of Candy? Is that what it says? Ooh A Piece of Candy, yeah. It's not another candy, it's a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Okay, yes. We're, I'm just so confused about which level we're on and when we're on it. And do I need to split right now? Two milligrams of THC shouldn't be doing this much damage to my to my short term. <laughs> and it's not. I, well, maybe it is. It might be helping, but uh, just having chronic fatigue syndrome in general um, helps a lot with with taking away your short term memory. Plus, you know, there's a significant portion of my brain that's dedicated to remembering the James Wood Family Guy episode so that I can make a reference about it. So, you know. Do you want, do you want a better speed run, or do you want James Wood Family Guy episode references? Or do you want words pr pronunciated correctively? Come on, man. The, the other computer's right there. You know what? Don't care. Don't care. I'm gonna get enough money out of both of these computers, I've already gotten one of them, that we're definitely gonna hit 80%. That I just don't care. Ooh, a piece of cane. Let one level steal a minute and a half from me. Just get seen and walk out, you dummy. 89%, see? We're on day 96. Yes. Early computer. Makes up for my... Well, for the bad RNG followed by... Poor decision making by me.
And there is a second computer. And it's right here. This is a good level for us. Nice spawning. I will take this floor money. Just, you know. Turn my money my my nose up at all the floor money. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I knew there was a risk that I was coming up in a building that I, or a room that I hadn't planned on, but you gotta keep it interesting somehow, right? Uh, it's only 1.6 XP. We're on day 95. Did one of those, one of those wasn't a successful heist. And I took it anyway. Wow. Wow, I just jumped over one bot, hit the other one from behind him. Wow, I'm amazing. But I'm not amazing in that um, we... I think this is a reset because one of those must not have been successful and I took it anyway. Why have we only got 1.6? We should have 1.8 going into this level, should we? I don't know. I'm going to keep playing it. until I can figure out what exactly the hell is going on here. Day, and that's 1.8, and we're on day 94. Usually we would be at 2.0 on day 95. I'm pretty sure. Day 94. This is supposed to be our bonus day where we pick up 2.2. Get rid of that, make it safe. Go over, collect this PC, and walk out and see if we get 2.2 out of it. I don't think we will. Something went wrong. And I'd love to know. It might help us figure out the, um... No, I've just got 2.0. Yeah, something went wrong. And if we knew, it might help to figure out... Um... How the XP thing works. Because I didn't think that I shorted myself on any of those levels, but we came in short on XP. So that would have let us do some new math. Start making some assumptions. I can get there from here. And it's way safer to come in from this side. And I haven't seen a second computer. It's the first level. Higher likelihood that there is only one computer here. So I'm just going to leave, and I think I'm going to go back and make a... Uh, make a buy. Oh, I forgot to split again, didn't I? Um, of this. Yeah, I'm gonna buy all the things I need. I've got the money for it. F it. I'm all in. I, uh, I missed a split again. We're in the warehouse district. And we're at Salt Box Techno. Techno. Techno Club. Salt Block bo Box Techno. Te te techno, technophobic, techno, technicolor dream coat, tech box, technicolor dream coat. I can't believe I got lucky enough to not get seen by that guy. So now I can look up and down. I've got bombs. I know how to hack a computer. Are all those true, or am I just saying things on some of them? Yeah, I can hack a door. Um, I said computer. I was thinking. I meant to say door. Don't see another computer down. Alright, that guy has a Gatling gun, so if he looks down here, it's more of a problem than if the other type of drone looks down here. Ah, oh, beautiful. You going out this way? I guess. 
Oh, technologies. Oh, Saltbox Technologies. I couldn't have possibly imagined that it would be that when we came in. Uh, 17,000. Didn't you skip a level because of bad menuing? Oh, did I? Oh, yes, okay. Then I, I made the right thing on, on keeping going. You're right. Wow. Wow, that memory of mine. I skipped... I accidentally went into a level that I shouldn't have at the beginning, and so I skipped it. That's how we are where we are when we are where we are. And on this good pace, actually. We're still on decent pace. We got two minutes to clear this level. Uh, and we'll be tied with, uh, with RPB, which means that we'd be way ahead of RPB, because RPB doesn't have this kind of XP. No XP on RPB. What the hell is going on in this level? We've gone over it and not seen a computer. I'm now under it, and I still don't see a computer. Uh... I think I just leave safely and without getting shot or blown up by any mines. What the hell was with that level? I, I, when I get tucked into a corner like that, and I know that I'm losing time, I try and save the time by playing so poorly that we die. That's, that's just how I do it. But yeah, dank dog, you put together that riddle, you know, I couldn't figure it out. Um, it would have been better if you were wrong, though. Uh, can we even get there? We can't. Uh, because then we'd have, like, more data on how the XP actually works here. Right now, all I can tell you is what I've seen... Which is that if we get on a roll with uh, successful clears of, of a level, then the last one that we take uh, will give us an extra level's worth of experience points that we haven't earned. And that doesn't make sense to me mathematically, you know? why a computer game, which runs on programming, would do such a thing. So I, I just don't understand it. I'm confused by it. And I'd like to know. I'm a speedrunner of the game, for Christ's sake. I should know how the mechanics work. Okay, got confused in the middle, slowed it down, made sure that I didn't get it wrong. We're into the second level in under a minute. I'll take it. Especially since now we've got a double jump and the ability to hack computers. And uh, for anyone who's unfamiliar, um, a double jump <laughs> is where you can jump once and then before you touch the ground, jump a second time. This does not look like there's another computer. Yeah, we're just leaving. I think I've seen enough to have seen it all. So we have to get all the com yeah, all of the computers out of these next four levels. I think it, it amounts to, so that on the left there on that screen that I barely let you see because I'm trying to just get into the next level because it's a speed run, you idiots! Jesus, stop questioning me. Um. <clears throat> On the left there, uh, on the screen that you don't get to see for long, uh, it tells us how much money we got out, what percentage of the funds. And uh, I need it to be higher than 80. Okay, I don't see that there's a computer under us, so we'll go up. No computer top right. No computer top left. Unless they're hiding one underground in a place we can't get to. That was all of it. That was 91% of the cash. We need it to be over 80. 
in order to continue playing. I think you all know that I keep, like, explaining the basics for two reasons. One, new people showing up to chat. Um, two, uh, if this turns into the world record, then, uh, I'll have... <laughs> I'll, I'll be explaining the speed run in the video for the world record. I love it when I jump over a, a, a robot. That's so hard to do. You try it. See, see, see what you get. You, you, you try. You see what you get. You got lucky. You try it again, and you see what you get. <laughs> or my... Like, my MASH references, okay, fair enough. Um, my Peter Griffin references, you gotta get, and also my Aqua Teen Hunger Force references, you gotta get. How much XP is that? 1.6, okay. So coming out of day 96, if we, if we succeed here, we got 1.8 bonus multiplier on every dollar that we get out. If we do the next level successfully, it goes up to 2.0, and then when it's at 2.0, I consider leaving. Uh, going on to the next district. Uh, but depending on how things are going, I might stick around for 2.2 XP. Was that... Did I hack two computers coming in here? No, that's just one. So you need to confirm that there isn't a second one right down here. Oh wow, I did not notice that it was a spike pit right there while I was jumping at him, until I'd already jumped at him a bit. You don't want that to be the thing. You don't want to die to just landing in something that's just right there, visible, on screen. Okay, 89% of the cash out of there. Okay. Now, if I can get this before... I can't. And now I gotta wait for... Long Eyes Slow Walker. No, I don't. I gotta get the money out right now. Or else this could be uh, a non-successful heist. Wait, it doesn't have to be a successful heist. It's day 95. So that, that, def that helps me decide whether or not to stick around. Yep, that's two times multiplier, even though we only got 42% out. We're going to the next area. I can't afford that. Or any of that. Okay, wow. I'm uh, short of funds as we go into Warehouse District, which means I'm short of abilities. Uh, which makes this area more dangerous for me to be in this early. Alright, you're already up here. Have a walk. Shunter? Shunter is what, how I think it's pronounced. Biomods. Yes, thank you. I really shouldn't have come this far. I should have just, like, reset. Um, because the level didn't show me a computer early, but I did come this far. So now I really want to see a computer. <laughs> and I have. I'm very thankful. I don't, I don't like you being there. Did I see another computer? No, I saw a frog. I saw two frogs. Oh no. Okay, I do see another computer though. This can still be worth it that I've come down here. I, I really just need these frogs to be dead for my um, s sense of well-being. Okay, that's going to be a tricky one. No, it's not. It's very easy. Fairly an inconvenience. Now, you've got to get my YouTube references. My... Shoot. What's his name? Uh, Ryan... Fucking something references. you got to get those references. You don't get any of the... There's another computer here? One that I can maybe get to by, like, glitching my way through the ceiling? Can I exit that area? It doesn't look guaranteed that I could exit that area. So I'm not going to risk it. Oh, God. See the frogs? Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Like, I could probably glitch my way in but I might not be able to glitch my way out. But that area was very far to the left, and so my question is, if I bomb my way in from the front here, does it get me to that same spot? I'll bet it does. Um, and I do know how to hack a door. 
No, I didn't learn that. Okay, I'm down a lot of abilities. This might chain explosion on me. Probably won't, though. Like, technically it shouldn't. And it didn't. Okay. Got it. Okay, look out for the door that's falling. You, sir. Would you mind dying? And then this. Would you mind exploding when I'm not standing there? And yes, here's the other computer. We're going to do a successful heist out of here. And we're going to be taking three computers worth of money out while we get a double bonus, you know, two times multiplier on every dime that we're taking out of here. This is going to be uh, an excellent start to this, uh, to this speed run. Nope. Land the top of it. Land the top of it. I know it's still smoking. You can barely see what you're doing. Land the top of it. Kill that frog. Kill this frog. Kill all the frogs. All frogs must die. Make sure you're not stepping on anything that's going to kill you. All three computers? I mean, there could be a fourth, and I see an area underground there that I actually do want to look. Oh, I don't have that ability either. Yeah, I'm short of a lot of abilities. That was beautiful, that was brilliant, that was worth the time it took to do it. How much money do I walk out with? 20 grand? Almost 20 grand. Put me back in, I grab one more computer, we can exit. This area. Although I do need... I really kind of need for it to be two computers... Because I'm so low on cash and the abilities that I use for this area. We go to the next area, it's only going to make that situation worse. Frog dad? Is the frog dad? Is the frog dead? Tell me the frog is dead. No invisible frog? Good. Look, see that frog coming down the stairwell? He slid down the stairwell a little bit. These guys are just... They're the most dangerous things in the game. Oh, thank God, there's two computers here. It's been worth my time. Trying to avoid Poliwhirl. That's why I was sitting here in silence all that time. I wasn't, like, nervous. I was trying to think of the name of the Pokémon who's a frog. <laughs> and, and that's how long it took me to, to, to think of it. I need... This, this, is, this is awful. This is just an awful setup, is what this is. Uh... Make it better than Pawn. You don't have to play the game, they want you to play the game. Make it better. I, I selected bombs. Thank you. Take a bad song and make it better. Remember to kill all of the damn frogs. Fuck Polly World. Alright, actually, I'm going to hack this, because the frog isn't coming in this direction. So, as long as I hack it carefully, don't mess up the inputs. Fuck you, Poliwhirl. These two computers should be all the money that I need to both exit the level and get the basic tools. Wait, there's a third. We can make this a successful heist, we can get more tools going into the next area. Uh... How many bombs? I've got two left. I need to come in from the side. I can't risk, uh... Wait, I can get in from up there. It will actually be safer if I do this, both on entrance and exit. It'll take a little bit longer, maybe. But there's a dude who's camping the window up there. It's harder for me to get in without triggering the alarm. There's all those spikes, there's four enemies, and there's a frog there. Which, I guess I should have just said that first, and then I wouldn't have had to say anything more about how dangerous it is. Come on. Right. Up. Left. Cool. Alright, this might be all the computers here, one way or another. We're walking out with another huge haul that should amount to, uh... Like, 50 grand, I think, in our bank. That's what I'm expecting to see. No, 38. Okay, I misunderstand how this game works. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to the next level, which costs us 25. 
I'm buying the tools that I needed and didn't have, you know, I needed for that area, and if I don't have them in the next area, we'll be even more screwed. I got seven grand left. That means I'll grab Steam Purge as well. And with two grand, there's nothing else you can buy. And we are into New Belgravia. A little bit behind PB, but we have way more XP, experience points, and, uh, and a much bigger bonus. Cash bonus uh, for each dollar that we steal in this run than we did on that one. Alright, now I broke that second piece of glass because now it won't get in the way while I swat them from behind at that height. This computer is unprotected. Which means I don't have to hack that floor electrical thing that I see. Frog, 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 frog. Okay, I don't see another computer forward. I'm going to be thrilled to just take the two computers down there if I don't see one up here. Yeah. I'm thrilled. So the computer that I just got and the one that will get down here. That's all I want out of life. Damn it, the frog did not fall in the pit. The frog still lives. The frog yet lives. Thank you. This is a bad combo for me. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna put a bomb down. Because between the camera, the frog, the spikes, and the wolverine, there's too many things to get the timing with and feel like I'm not going to just end up killing myself. Plus, there was also the, um, the electrical floor panel, floor trap. There's still one to the right of the computer right now. If I got seen at any point, that would have gone off underneath me. With the camera swinging back and forth, I didn't have a lot of time to be able to hack it. So it was just like, yeah. Best idea here is just bomb. Be safe, walk out alive. All right, that's 36 grand. I'm staying in until we get to the casinos. I don't think I need any other buy. Looking for a computer here. We've walked the entire length of the building left to right and seen no computer. So it's gotta be on a lower level. And it's on, there's one on this lower level. Now, one of the abilities that I bought in one of, during one of those buys was... Yeah, okay, I wasn't sure if I was going to get seen by that camera. Sticking to the wall like this. So now, if you haven't noticed me do it yet, we can Spider-Man kiss people to death. This is where we hang upside down. And make a, a whole series of beloved Spider-Man movies that um, I don't think are very good. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that whole me having taste and the rest of you, I don't know what's wrong with you thing, but that is the case. Um, those weren't particularly good movies. So you can stop complaining about how the Spider-Man movies have gotten bad. They've never been good. <laughs> You're just trying to rile chat up, aren't you, Pawn? Yeah, just get a conversation going. Okay, I'm gonna try and get over this guy, because I'm sure there's another computer in here. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have to do it on this side. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking my life in my hands a little bit to be doing this, to be sticking around in here. But now I got the steam purge, I want to get my eyes back. Before I start moving, okay. Um, if I can get to the left side of the building and be under, then I can glitch my way up and probably get killed. Damn it! Nope. Oh, this is gonna be 
We're gonna get shot at with a dude in a flying car and a minigun, is what I think's about to happen here. Uh, yeah. That is indeed what has happened here. Um, I'm trying to save my steam purge for when we get back to the, uh... No! Fuck. I made too many decisions at once there. And, uh, they collided with each other. <laughs> That's a reset. So, what really happened there was, um, where it went wrong was that I jumped... I double jumped at the, the guy who was shooting at us. And I did that to stay above his cannon. Problem was, now I've double jumped and left myself uh, with probable fall damage. This game is very um, asinine when it comes to fall damage. Uh, it's, it's just inconsistent. Um, so then I, you know, made the decision to go back toward the building to try and catch it so that I wouldn't die. And uh, there was not enough building below me to catch. So we landed on a police officer's head. Now you got the play-by-play. -play. I never thought they were that good either. What? Oh, the, the Spider-Man movies? Yeah. Yeah. The first one was just mildly entertaining. The second one had that, you know, amazing stopping the subway car thing that was, like, emotional. Outside of that scene, the, the rest of the movie was just awful. Um... Uh... And I don't think I even remember the third one. <laughs> That's how good that one was. Yeah, there's a, there's an area you can't get into there. If you can get into it, you can get out of it. But yeah, the Sam Raimi and, and like, I, I want to like it. I want to like it because I know, you know, who worked on it. And I love, you know that Ash is in those movies, uh, of the Evil Dead, damn it, um, but they aren't good is the problem, they, they are not, they are not good, um, so, they did everything right with those movies, is what I would say, everything right except for making them good, <laughs> other than that, They are definitely movies that I could see myself liking, but I don't. <laughs> Damn it. So, do you see a problem with this level? With the generation on this level? Do you, have you, maybe we found, there could be an issue here somehow. Slightly unresolvable. Oh, wow. Okay. That was a minute ago, huh? <laughs> I'm checking my text messages because I was uh, expecting my father to come. He said probably he'd be leaving around four. Um, he sent me a message apparently uh, a little over an hour ago saying I'm leaving uh, in a few minutes. Are you home, awake, busy, sober, or should I wait? <laughs> you can come on out, period. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get that text, which means he could arrive here at any moment or be here already. <laughs> uh yeah, this live stream's probably gonna have to end. <laughs> Cause I had an alarm set on my phone. He said four. And I was gonna, like, he said that he'd probably leave it for. I guess the Yankees game didn't go well. That's why um, he was gonna be as long as he was gonna be. He was watching the Yankees. So, uh, apparently somebody kicked somebody's ass, or they kicked somebody else's ass. Like, you know, it's a really bad game. I don't know. Does anybody have the Yankees on in the background? They could tell me. Break the damn window.
There could actually still be money down here. I didn't see. Maybe there couldn't have been. I don't know. <laughs> Is that no for the stream ending? Because it's going to happen. Wow, that was a horrible opening level. I didn't... Didn't get to it enough to realize how, like, long it took to navigate that level. I don't like to be starting or, you know, clearing out my first buy after the minute mark, especially that deep after the minute mark. Okay, but they rewarded us with an early computer here, anyway, on the second level. Maybe it's playable. But yeah, now I don't know if my dad left, you know, didn't wait for my reply to the text message, or if he did. Uh, I don't know if he's, like, pulling up right now, or if, you know, now he'll be about 45 minutes until he gets here. <laughs> Or if he's texting me back right now saying, well, you know, uh, since you made me wait around for an hour, I'm not coming out now. I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on with my wife at this point. 96% of the money out of there. What am I doing with my dad? Um, kind of celebrating his birthday, uh, which was, uh, like a week ago. Not even a week ago now. It was recently anyway. Uh, and, you know. He had stuff going or didn't want to want to make the trip that day for whatever reason, and uh, uh, it's hard for us to come out to him because of my, you know, condition, the reason why I'm broadcasting live from my bed right now. Uh, so yeah, he's coming out, and I got a couple of gifts to give him, and, uh, and also potentially finishing the um, basic work on my bed. Uh, I designed this bed that I'm lying in right now when I was, um, unable to leave it, uh, because I was in convalescence. And, uh, it's made out of two by fours and, uh, three quarter inch, uh, oriented strand board flooring. Um, but it's exactly the way that I wanted it, with, uh, a shelf that's next to me that actually turns into the windowsill. We replaced the windowsill with this shelf. Uh. So my windowsill is technically six feet long now. <laughs> uh, but there is one last uh, moving component, literally, moving part to, uh, to my design. And it's to have the upper part, where your back would be, be able to incline. And the way that I've drawn that out is to have a uh, couple of two by fours on hinges uh, attached to the piece that supports. I see that computer there, I'm checking all the other places. Um, attached to the piece that supports your back, you know, that's just would quantify the top third of the bed um, when you're laying on it, the third of the bed that your head and shoulders would be on. Was this the first level and I've been going for computers? <laughs> did I, did I get all the money? Did I walk past the money? I, I, I was going for computers on the first, I forgot that, I didn't realize we'd reset. <laughs> it's hard to keep first, second level straight. Um, so, yeah, the way that I've drawn that is two two-by-fours on hinges that are attached together, and then underneath the bed will be uh, a couple of... They need to be, like, two-by-six. We don't have any two-by-sixes, but we could make something. Um, and there'll be little stands that have three different... Um, three different angles cut into them, so that those two by fours, when you uh, pivot the board up on, on its pivot, they'll slot into the slots and hold it in three different elevated positions. That's my plan, and it's not that much wood, it's not that much labor, it's not that much anything. So we might throw that together. You should fix the Discord bot. Just, I, all I have to do is, I guess, install Node.js on my computer and then like start the bot up running on my PC whenever we uh, do the live stream. So that could be done, I think. It's just not been a priority of mine. Uh,
just being able to live stream has been a, you know, great success. 100% and we got out of that level really quickly. Do some good menuing here. Can we peek? Can we get a good new gold? I don't think that was new gold, but it's very close to gold. 44.7 seconds out of the first level into the second. That's, that's really, really fast. Requires some uh, very fortunate RNG. And we got it. So a good way to start a speed run. Now it's time for my dad to show up. And I'll have to end the speed run. <laughs> Pretty decent second level as well. Both of the computers were up front. We're able to leave this level at, you know, before the minute 30 mark. So we're into the third level in 90 seconds. And there's another computer I can see immediately, but I'm going to go down in search of a second. And indeed, there is a second. Good thing that I came down, huh? Don't question me. I know what I'm doing. And I'm taking the safe way. And I see how I'll get out, just to my right. Glitch our way through the ceiling, walk over the building, and exit. That's three levels in 2.15-ish. We need three more levels, I think. That's how that works out. And there's one computer above us. I'm going to take out the three musketeers here and try and get... Yep, there is one up here. All right, well, now I know where both of them are. I might have done better to get that one first. I'm not exactly sure how I should get there, actually, now. I'm going to get there the way that I saw I could get there, because I'm... Yeah, I'm not supremely confident in any other method which would have been going over the top and coming in through a window, and I'm just not sure if there's a window over there, it's going to take me longer, etc. and so on. That gets us both of those. And this will be four levels in how long? 320. So... 200 seconds? Is that, what the, is that how that works? 180, 200, yeah. Okay, I see the computer. It's over there. Probably walking in the front door is going to be the easiest entrance. Oh, damn it. It goes down. Well, we needed to check down anyway. Oh, come on. Wait. Is that... Is that the same computer I've already seen, or...? No, alright, they're both good. We needed to come here anyway. Ooh, shoot. Wow, th this is a tough area. <laughs> I have to get that one. Okay, now I'm up here without a double jump. Come on. Nope, alright. Gotta get you. Alright, fuck. Now I can hack this computer. And I think I can glitch my way up from here. Okay, we might die. Or set off an alarm. Neither. Holy crap. All right, I'm setting off the alarm now. I don't care, we put too much time into this already. I gotta get it. It'll be 80% of the money. I have faith and knowledge. Faith and statistics. You know, those are, if you've got faith, cool. If you've got faith and statistics, you almost don't even need to have faith anymore. <laughs> Where are we at? 1.8, I need one more level and then we go on to the next area. 1 more computer in fact. If we just get one computer out of here, we'll be fine. Don't need both of them. And there there she blows. I will take both of them if they happen to both be visible. 
presuming there even are two. I'm going to look for a second one because I kind of, like, I do so, it's so much harder if we don't have the money uh, that we need to buy all of the skills that we want for the warehouse district. So I'm going to take a walk around this level that maybe won't be worth a damn to us. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was worth a damn to us. Yeah, can you can you deal with doors? I don't think you can. All right, it's eleven grand. Let's see if that's enough. So first we buy our way into the next area, then we buy bombs, then we buy the ability to hack doors, faster movement speed, and I missed out on two abilities I'd like to have, but that aren't strictly necessary. Okay, there's one computer. I can get there with bombs. I'm gonna walk in here. Hey, yeah. This is probably the better way to enter. One bomb instead of, I think it would have been two to get in there. Okay, I'm safe to stand here. I don't have that ability. It'll allow me to stick to walls. Oh, it's gonna take two bombs anyway. But we get to look at a lot more of the building, make sure we're not missing a second computer. Pick up some floor money. This isn't bad, as long as I don't get seen and killed by the things that are over here. If that camera bot would come where I can get it, then I could kill the rest of everybody easy. Okay. Everybody's dead. Frog's dead. Dead frog? Good. Uh, yeah, I actually want to be doing this from here. I'm pretty sure this will guarantee that the computer doesn't get blown up. be able to get myself a faster exit by doing this. Ah, there's two of these bastards here. It's not going to be a faster exit. There could be a second computer top right, but I'm going to just take this and run and hope there isn't. Yeah, there was. It's okay. Hello. No, that's not a computer. That is, though. Whoa. Oh my god. Beautiful hacking there. It was all ups. And that's how I, you know, prefer... Uh... The order of button preferences, I have a preference for up. So it just all worked out. Oof, I don't like I don't like that guy being where he is. He makes it very hard to pass. Uh, I think I'll bomb where he's standing. We can see the second computer top right. Well a second computer. There can be more computers. But that gets rid of all the spiky things that could insta-kill me. And we might as well do this, and we'll get rid of some of the things that could kill me and make for an easier entrance. Well, I explore lower to see if there's a third computer. And I didn't see one. Damn. Okay, no, you did it again for me, thank you. This is pretty tricky. Oh yeah, this is impossible, actually. Yeah, I can't enter from there. I will have to come in through here. I just couldn't do that. That would have been impossible. Um, and this, this really sucks. Is 
this one doable? Is a question now. There we go. But I don't have enough jump to get up there. Unless I had a jump that came off of a wall. We've got one bomb left, but the bomb will make it harder. <laughs> Everybody get in the hole. You can see us from another angle. Fuck. Well, I'll tell you what, kids. My dad is probably on his way anyway. Or might even be here. And he's sitting in the other room listening to me talk to you. I don't know. But uh, this is about the time that I wanted to quit anyway. If he had said that he was coming out at four. Uh, so we're going to call that a live stream. I'm sorry. That we're going to go on to the fourth live stream where I didn't get the world record, but, you know, we're also staying practiced so that I can get the world record by um, doing a shorter stream today. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for sticking around. Oh, a cute shark just got here. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, my father's on his way. Maybe. Probably. Check my text messages again. Uh, I've got no text from him, so I'm calling it a day. For I am the Ronin Vault. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be back uh, again soon, maybe tomorrow. And if we are back tomorrow, then it'll probably be, you know, a nice long session going for this. Um, but the fact that we get into Warehouse District as often as we do and New Belgravia as often as we do, I'm just playing so much better now. Like, the skill has built up. World record is guaranteed. It's just a matter of time. And I can't wait to find out by opening up these splits. When we get world record, I will open them up. And I will find out how many attempts it took me to get to world record. From not speedrunning this game to world record in this, in this speedrun. Uh, so keep turning in for these things. Look for me tomorrow. I'll probably be here. Uh, have a lovely day. Uh, give your dad some presents. <laughs> Pawn out. <laughs> <laughs>